Hi, I'm Anita Adams, the founder of Joyful Inspired Living. And I wanted to share some stuff with you today. As I was walking through the forest yesterday, I started thinking about compassion. And I just wanted to share my thoughts with you on this subject. Last week, I wrote a post, which you may have saw, on joy and pain and how they are intertwined. And I touched on how showing compassion for those who are suffering, who are in pain, will ease your pain. And the Dalai Lama calls this the virtuous circle. Today, I wanna just elaborate on that a little. The idea is really simple and quite beautiful. When you practice being compassionate to those who are suffering, who are in pain, you are removing the focus from yourself and shining the light on someone else. And in so doing, you not only ease the pain and suffering of that other person, you are opening the door to your joy, which eases your pain and your suffering, the virtuous circle. Compassion is the key that unlocks the door to a much greater joy. So how do you become more compassionate? Or how do you practice compassion? There are so many simple things that you can do every day that will help deepen that compassion and that will enrich your life. They're just simple things like reaching out and connecting with people. Ask and truly listen to those people. Remove the focus from you and put it firmly on someone else. Give freely of your time and your attention. Be kind to everyone who crosses your path. Find ways to help others. Even the little things like opening a door for someone. These things count. These are all just a few little examples how you can practice being more, compassion, more compassionate in everyday life. Maybe you have some other examples. I'd love to hear some of your ideas on how to practice being compassionate in everyday life. Thanks for tuning in. I know this is a little simple, but it's beautiful in what we can do in our lives and how we can enrich the lives of others and tap into a greater joy by being compassionate. Have a great day. I look forward to checking in with you next week. Bye.